I often read questions on the internet or have been asked how to get the .psd files to show thumbnail views in Windows. Um, I know that this comes from a long time ago before my Photoshop time when Adobe used to include a .dll file in their program itself which allowed uh, for this to happen but they have removed that from their program and actually um, I've gotten used to liking it not having that thumbnail view. Here um, is a template that I did the other day and this is the thumbnail view of the JPEG and this is what the PSD file looks like. Actually if this PSD file had a thumbnail view these two views would look identical and then I would have to um, look further to figure out which one is the PSD file. So I like having it really handy and easily um, where I could tell which file is which. Um, I personally have no need to see uh, the thumbnail views of the PSD files. I know that um, ACDC is great. It, if you really want to see the thumbnail views, um, you can also go out there on the internet and get that DLL file and install it and there's other programs you can use too but um, I'm just going to show you what methods I utilize and why I'm just satisfied with what I have already on my computer. I don't really find a need to have to install anything else on my computer. There is so much here already, already bogging down um, the system so why do I need to install anything else? when I can use what I have um, right here. Um, sometimes uh, the designers do not include a JPEG preview. Sarah, my favorite uh, DigiBuddy, and I love her, her templates, does not ever seem to include that preview, so I can't see what it looks like but it's really not that much of a problem. Um, most computers have a quick time on their computers and it comes um, in a package with a bunch of uh, various uh, software programs and if you just simply right click on your PSD file then go to open with and then choose picture viewer now you're going to notice right there on picture viewer um, that symbol for quick time it's a Q that is a quick time program and so then I'm going to open and it's taking a little longer because I have this recording software running and there is a view of what that PSD file is without actually opening up in Photoshop elements um, which would take a much longer time and so um, you know, I could grab a screenshot of this or and make it the JPEG, um, or I could, uh, you know, open it up Photoshop Elements when I first get it and uh, create my own preview of uh, this template. And so you see, it's quite easy and quick to just see what um, is in there. I don't have very many files this way. Um, so um, the time it takes me to do this uh, is uh, very limited. Most of mine are like this and I can um, easily see what this one looks like because I have them named the same thing. If you are in the uh, Windows Live photo gallery which I showed you recently and let's say you have some templates tagged as templates these are the JPEG files. It's not too um, difficult to then go find the PSD files that are associated with these previews. I'm going to right click and choose open file location and there it is. It opens up the folder and right where that um, file is and I see my PSD files. 
So um, as long as you keep a preview of what's in the PSD file, which most of us do, um, you know, all of my digital scrapbooking layouts, I save the printable version, which is a JPEG, and the PSD file. So um, it, no matter where they are on my computer, if I have the uh, JPEGs tagged, I just open up that folder and the PSD files are going to be right there. Uh, not anything um, too difficult for me to deal with. So um, I hope this has helped you learn a little bit about how I navigate and find my PSD files. And um, if you have any questions, hey, I'm here to ask. I'm willing to help and uh, love to learn and listen from you.